It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and with tonight being the fifth dinner service, Chef Ramsay has decided to test the chefs in a way he's never done before. Okay, tonight, it's the first time ever that Hell's Kitchen is going barbecue. I love to cook barbecue, and I think that it's awesome that we're serving barbecue food in a fine dining atmosphere. Let's go in the kitchens. Up, yes, chef. chef. With a brand new menu to master, and only eight hours before the doors open, the chefs get to work. Rock it out, rock it out. We gotta get it done, you guys. Did we find the lime butter? Never thought I'd be cooking collard greens here, boy. Just like home, honey. Big beans, pulled pork. It's gonna be the most intense barbecue restaurant in the world. I know, right? If I learn how to do this right, I'm gonna open up a barbecue place. <laughs> While the blue team jokingly maps out Benjamin's future, Nilka is seriously getting ahead of herself. Chicken is frying perfect. Oh, come on. Why are we frying chicken off already? Come here, all of you. Bring me that tray of chicken that's fried off. This is a barbecue evening, yes? Not a fast food joint. We haven't got an order on yet, and you fried half a fucking chicken. But not in a good way. Look what you're doing to yourselves. You're fucking yourselves before you even start. It's a whole bloody screaming match about the goddamn chicken. I can't fucking take it. They didn't even do that in fast food shitholes. Come on, Nelka. Yes? You start sulking. I'm good. Not like a petulant teenager. I'm good, chef. With dinner service rapidly approaching, Chef Ramsay has a last-minute problem. The demand for tonight has been extraordinary. We're overbooked. So I'm going to do a double seat. Whilst the blue team is serving, the red team is cooking, then we'll switch it around. Got it? Yes, yes Chef. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. Jean-Philippe. Yes, Chef. Yeah, and open Hell's Kitchen for a barbecue night. Tonight, Chef Ramsay has replaced the regular menu with upscale barbecue dishes, including smoked ribs, a Kobe beef burger, and crab hush puppies. We have a really exciting menu, some really fabulous barbecue. For the first of tonight's two seatings, the red team will be in the kitchen, and they will have two hours to serve the entire dining room. Chef, order up. Thank Four you. Top. Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you, Chef. Two crab, one shrimp, one salad. If you don't like it, I'll bring it right back. Oh, you're cute. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. Where's the crab? I'm going on crab. Let's go. Maria, they're raw. They're raw. Look what you're doing. It's not undercooked, it's fucking raw. Draw. Come on, one crab urgently. Fuck me. Maria, I need two more crab on top of the one you got. I know. We completely stopped the kitchen for a hush puppy. I need the crab. So you just give me an answer. 30 seconds, four days. How long are those hush puppies? Somebody answer me. How long are the crab? It's not down. OK, well, you need to be telling me. While Maria struggles with the crab hush puppies, Salvatore is hoping that tonight's performance in the dining room will go a little more smoothly than his last one. Second time uh, in my life being be in the dining room, so I'm kind of nervous. First time I was there, it was, was a bad experience for me. Show me. Oh, my God. What is that? Are you writing in Japanese? Let's go. Oh, Jesus. What is that there? What does that say? What, what? Yes, you sir. went to school, right? No, sir. You did go to school? No, sir. What were you doing? I came to America because my family needed me, needed money. So what were you doing when you didn't go to school? Working every day, chef, to feed, to help my father and my mom bills. Thank you for being honest. I always being honest, chef. Just take your time. Look at that. Despite poorly written tickets coming in, Fran is pushing her teammates to get food out. Guys, I'm ready. Are you ready? How's those crabs? You put them here? Oh, it's like Jesus. You can ask me, but you yelling at me, and I'm trying to help him. Well, it's just a yes or no. You don't gotta. I didn't up. hear you. I know. I'm fucking sensitive, man. Who the fuck are you yelling at? Like I didn't fucking hear you. Like I'm ignoring your ass on purpose. Hey guys, let's not fucking argue. All right, let's just cook. The red team—it was a disaster. It would just like stop in the middle of dinner service and fight. We're not 
argue and I just okay. want to... Okay, well, let's not cook. scream at each other, all right? Let's cook. Did you put up the crab? Any crab, come up! No! If I, if I bring crab up, I'll Two tell you. Two fish, one right there. there. Look at it. If you want to take anything out of it, she What's said... What's that? Yeah. Right now. Guys, guys oh. listen to Chef. Stop me! Stop! Stop chef. Chef. Guys. I'm calling out an order, not one of you even answering me. Listen to me, you fucking idiots. Work as a team! Yes, Chef! Yes. With the red team falling apart, one chef does what she can to bring them back together. This one's hot, Chef. So it's Fran. Yes, Chef. Yeah, well done on the appetizers. Yes, Chef. Fran did a really good job tonight. She never gave up. She never stopped trying. The appetizers are flying out. Keep it going. It's an hour and 15 minutes into dinner service, and thanks to Fran, diners are enjoying their appetizers. She's got good flavor. Good flavor to it. The red team is now sending entrees out to the dining room. One burger medium well, one burger medium. But one chef on the blue team... If you need me to take something back, I'll be happy to. ...is making sure they don't stay there. You're, you have a look on your face. How big is <laughs> Undercooked. A little under. OK, I'm going to take those right back to the kitchen. I got myself all pretty. I'm going to charm the tables. I'm going to send anything back just for the sake of sending it back and hope that that collapses the red team. Oh, guys, come on. What's the matter? It was supposed to be medium and medium, medium well. Medium and medium well, yes? Yeah. Oh. Siobhan. Siobhan, Siobhan, Siobhan. Burger requested medium well, stone cold in the middle, and it's fucking rare. Fuck off. Come on, guys. OK, we fired two burgers. Tables are starting to complain. How are you doing? You sure? If you're unhappy with it, I can always Go and get you some more. What do you think? No, I'm fine. You sure? If you can get the main course, that'd be nice. OK. While Autumn hopes to do her part to keep the red team busy, back in the red kitchen, Scott hopes to impress Chef Ramsay with his fried chicken. Come in now, Chef. How long is he cooking this for? Scott, this chicken is like something from outer space. Just feed it a little bit. It's cooked to fuck. It's like something from a leftover fast food joint, Scott. Pathetic. Scott's got the most experience, but he still screwed up the whole chicken section. I mean, just a complete disaster. Blackened bullshit chicken. Oh, my God. Close the fucking oven door. I don't want the conversation going on with the oven door open. She's going to come past with a fucking pan, walk in that, and bang. One fucking arm in the fryer, one on the fucking stove. Now stop it! Yes, Chef. He was working so dangerous, Scott. He should have known better. We never cook with the door open. Health and fucking safety! It's the worst fucking night of my life right now. I feel miserable right now. Thank God nobody got hurt. We're now the most dangerous kitchen in the fucking country. With food coming back, Scott being careless, and time running out. Come on, ladies, you can do it. Come on. The red team is finally making a big push to get out as much food as possible. Last minute, guys. Coming up. Let's go. Oh, dear. All of you, come here. All of you! That's my fault. It's completely my fault. It was the last one I did. It's fucking wrong! I should have asked. I, sh I needed more time. Stop! Time's up. Enough is enough. Fucking shut it down. That was just such a fucking joke. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I don't know how many more of these fucking services I can handle like this. With the first dinner seating coming to a close, the tables are now turned, and the blue team will be in the kitchen with only two hours to complete the second seating. Right. Open house kitchen for a second barbecue. Yes, sir. Let's go. They're walking in. While the blue team is excited to be back in their element... Game face is on. The red team is clearly out of theirs. Oh, right, you're on my table. Hey, guys, I need some fucking orders. Nelka. Yes, Chef? What are you doing? I'm trying to... I'm getting this together, Chef. Oh, my God. Being a waitress is not an easy job. OK, the dessert. So much technical shit that goes with it. They had to rewrite the tickets like three times each. I'm like, fuck! Where's JP? Hey, the clock's ticking away. Let's I go. Know, I know, I know. Let's go. Thank Give it you. to Chef, order in table 44. Yeah, what's taking so long? 10 minutes for the first fucking order. 
I know what a four covers table 44, yes? On shrimp on crab on salad on date. Yes, chef, coming right now. How are you guys enjoying Hell's Kitchen? Great. Oh, All right. We're having more fun than you are. <laughs> I could imagine. <laughs> I could imagine. Shrimp right here, Chef? Nice. The tickets may be coming in slowly, but Jay is getting his appetizers out quickly. Jay! Yes, Chef? Well done, yet. And Chef Ramsay is moving on to entrees. One more corn away. The salt, the chicken. It's not even answering me, look. Tavatov, one more corn. I don't understand why, as soon as he gets in the kitchen, he just, like, shuts down. You tell me what to do, I'll do it. I think, uh, you know, is in a spiral, and that's sort of, unfortunately, starting to get on my nerves. Salvatore, get one corn going. Salvatore! Nah, too many boys, too many boys told me something. Salvatore, come here! Why do you stop? You're not talking anymore. Why do you stop talking? Sorry, Chef. Open up! Yes, yeah, Chef. Unreal. Let's go. Come on, then, madam. Maria! We already had Maria, it. where's the ticket? Where? Come on, then. Sorry, Chef. Fucking hell. She's so weird. You already have a table 33. Yeah, I have two 33s now. From Holly, I have one as well. <gasps> chef! That table 33, we double took the order, and that's a double order, Chef. So how can you take the same order twice? I took it, and Holly took it. Are you trying to screw no. the blue team? No way. Holly! Holly! Yeah, you're oh, asking Excuse here. me one second, please. Unbelievable. Come here, you. This is out of order. I took 33's order, and you took 33's order. So we double. 33 is in my, my section. It's 33 is in her section. It's my fault. Yeah, Maria's like losing it right now. Yeah, I took their orders. Listen, the listen, is listen order. to me. Listen. Just out of interest, when you hit the table for the second time, why don't you at least check if their order's been taken? I don't know. You don't know. I think she's overstressed or something because she's just not there. Now, fuck off and leave me alone. Disgusted with the red team, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Autumn's next order of ribs. Oh, Jesus. All of you, come here. Come fucking here. Just touch inside that. Oh, oh fuck off. You yes, stone fucking cold. Ice cold in the center. Yes, Chef. I love the way you're so late, but you're just walking around like you're just I'm shopping. I'm not walking yeah. around, Chef. I'm, I'm rushing. You're rushing? Yes, Chef. I'd hate to see you slow. It's an hour and a half into the Blue Team's dinner service, and all of the diners have received appetizers. This is not what you ordered. No. Yeah, I ordered the shrimp. Just not the ones they asked for. Thank you very much. Thank you. So bring the dates back, and you tell Chef why. Yes? Certainly. What's the matter? Doesn't want the dates. Why? Because I sold him, I wrote down dates and he wanted shrimp. So said. you're lying to me. You fucked up the Not order. Intentionally. Not intentionally. Come in here, you. Come in. Come in. Come, Come in. in. Surprise. I screwed up. Again. I wrote down shrimp and they wanted dates. Or they, I wrote down dates and they wanted shrimp. Okay. Basically, she fucked up the order, yeah? She fucked up the order. Fucking bullshit. I can do refire in 10 seconds, chef. With the clock running out on their two hours. Come on, guys, you've got 25 Come minutes on, to clear this board, yes? Yes, yes? yes? The blue team is moving quickly, but not carefully. All of you, come here. So who's the fucking smart ass? Who's the fucking smart ass? I put the chicken in there, chef. What with the fries? I just dropped the chicken in the fries, chef. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get the chicken. Come on. Jason! Yes, Chef. Jason, look at me. I'm looking, Chef. Not fucking good enough. Yes, Chef. It's a fucking fine dining restaurant, yeah? Yes, Not Chef. Not a fucking fast food pickup joint. Get the fries out of there first, then put your fucking chicken in there. Yes, Chef. Thank the you. The fries wasn't done, Chef. The fries are a fucking size. Get your chicken going. Get the fucking... Listen to me, Jason. I'm listening, Chef. Then do it, then. Do it. I'm doing it, Chef. See him put up with this fucked up ass bullshit. Fucking crazy. I don't give a fuck. Fuck. I don't know what's going through Jason's head. I just want to turn around and say, shut the fuck up. Just listen to what the chef has to say. Don't talk back to the chef like that. Come on, guys. It's 10 minutes let's left. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes, chef. I need the fucking entrees. Wow, let's push this out. Service, please. Coming down hot. Hit butter, hit butter. On. Fuck off you, eh? Five big. Autumn. Yes, Chef. Work it. Come on. Go. Chicken. One minute left. 
Are you ready? I'm ready to go up with that. Hurry up, Jason. Give me three minutes. Three minutes. It's not possible to be that fucking long. Fucking crazy. Time! I told you to speed up. Everything off. If our team loses tonight, it be bye-bye, see you. I'm going home. I love you, honey. Meet me at the airport. Man, fuck him. Out of all the services so far in Hell's Kitchen, that was our worst. We're talking basic barbecue, yes? Was that really the best we could do? Personally, I thought it was supposed to be easier. So, losing team tonight? Overall, combined as a team effort, the red team. It's almost like you all hate each other. There was one chef, however, that did impress me. Fran, you were on top of your game with the appetizers. Now, get upstairs and think of two individuals in your team up for elimination. 